Emerson here with the Westfield Church of Christ. What we're seeing today are unprecedented events, things that you and I have never seen or been through before. But with that, I believe, comes unprecedented opportunity to grow spiritually. In this week's videos, I want to offer you four challenges to help you take advantage of this time and to grow in your faith. But in today's video, I just want to convince you of one simple yet profound truth. And here it is that the best opportunities to grow often come in unexpected or uncomfortable circumstances. The Bible talks about this in a lot of places, but I want to focus on James chapter 1. Beginning in verse 2, it says, Consider it a great joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you experience various trials, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And let endurance have its full effect so that you may be mature and complete, lacking nothing. James's message to us here is pretty simple. Don't let trials kill your faith. Let them enliven your faith. James even goes a step further to tell us that we ought to be joyful when we go through trials. Not because they're fun or because we wish them on anyone, but because we're focused on the end result, the outcome of more perfect and complete faith. James uses the word testing in verse 3, that the testing of your faith produces endurance. We know what a test is, but this isn't just a test of our knowledge or some skill that we might have. This is a test of something deeper. It's a test of who we are inside. It's a test of our character. God allows trials to happen to us many times to expose our weaknesses, those areas in which we need to grow. God allows us to be tried and tested. One of the greatest examples of that is Job. Job was a righteous man. He feared God, he turned away from evil, and yet God allowed terrible things to happen to him. Satan took away his possessions, he killed his family, he took away his health. Satan thought he could break Job's faith through all of that, but Job didn't break. He endured to the end. And that's the lesson we learn from Job. When we go through trials, we can endure like Job to have that more perfect and complete faith. There's one more thing that I think it's important to share with you. James chapter 1 verse 13 says, No one undergoing a trial should say, I am being tempted by God, since God is not tempted by evil, and he himself doesn't tempt anyone. I believe this is important because one question you may have wondered, or others have wondered, is if God really is in control, then why does he allow bad things to happen to people? Why does he allow, for example, a worldwide outbreak of an extremely contagious virus like COVID-19 to infect so many people and take so many lives? What James tells us, though, is that evil does not come from God. Evil comes from our enemy, Satan, as in the case of Job. Evil sometimes comes through our sinful choices, James chapter 1, verse 14, but evil never comes from God. God tempts no one. He does test us, though. What's the difference between a test and a temptation? Well, a temptation is intended to trip you up. It's when Satan sticks out his foot and he makes you fall. On the other hand, a test is intended to build you up. It's when you're running around the track and God gives you one extra lap to run because he knows that it's going to prepare you for next week's race. Here's where our faith comes in. Will we take up that challenge? Will we run that extra lap? Will we endure to the end, focusing on the outcome that God can bring to our faith, a more complete and perfect faith? I look forward to sharing these challenges with you this week. Stay tuned. I'll see you tomorrow.